Let's have a look at what's in the STEM T-Frail filming kit. If your school has ordered this kit, there's lots of creative opportunities for your students. It's designed to be a whole class set so that the whole class can work in groups of three using what you can see here. This is the full kit that's completely assembled with all of the items. There are 10 of these in the kit. Now you don't always need to use all the items, but in this video, we're gonna have a look at each item and what it's for. So let's start over here. At the top, we've got a light for darker situations. There's a microphone here on top of the iographer that the iPad sits inside of. We've added some extra audio capability with the dongle here on the side. So you can plug a headphone and two microphones into that dongle. And of course it sits on top of a tripod and uh, headphones just down here. But like I said, you don't need to use all of the options. So what does it look like if you just wanna start simple? Well, let's begin with just the iographer with the iPad that's already mounted on the inside. There's no reason for you to ever remove the iPad. You can charge it whilst it's in the iographer and students can upload their video footage also while it's in the iographer. So you can leave the iPad on the inside. Filming with the iPad, the iPad in the iographer is really about capturing footage that might be a little bit shaky, but that's okay because it looks natural especially if the audio is not super important. If sound is important, let's add the first microphone. In your accessories box in the kit are all of these smaller components that you're gonna add in. There will also be a parts list in the accessories box to help each group track which items belong in this box. The first microphone that you would use is the one with the windshield on it. The windshield does come off. There's no real reason to take it off, but it does come off. It's not broken if it comes off. Just pop it back in, and that stops any noise from wind. Uh, of course, the little red, little red stretcher cable just plugs into the sound uh, port on the side of the iPad. I've added a simple microphone, so now that anybody that I'm interviewing within about an arm's length of the camera is gonna have really good audio quality. I've pushed the microphone all the way forwards in the holder so that it sits nice and straight. If you wanna add a second microphone, use the audio dongle and the lapel. There's even an extension cord if you wanna use the extension lead for the lapel, there it is. So an interviewer, for example, might wear this clipped onto their shirt to get better sound when they're interviewing somebody. Now, what if the lighting conditions aren't great? Well, that's when we add the light to the iographer. To attach the light to the iographer, make sure that you grab the little mounting device that screws into the bottom of the light and clips onto the top of the iographer. When you're introducing the light to your students, please explicitly teach them a few safety rules. Number one, always point the light at the ground before you turn it on. It's very bright. Number two, use the dial at the side of the light to turn the brightness down to 1%. And number three, don't have the light closer than arm's length to anyone's face. There's also a handle for the light, so if you don't want to mount it on top of the iographer, you can set it up on here and use this as a small tripod if you want to light a different part of the set. All right, now that the light is assembled on the iographer, it's getting a little bit heavy. So we now want to use the tripod to fix it and make it easier to record in the locations that we've planned for. I've taken the base plate out of the tripod and I've screwed it into the bottom of the iographer. This little device is going to make the iographer sit nice and steady on top of the tripod. The STEM t filming kit includes a brand new camera. There's three of them that should probably be used by responsible individuals. This camera is a gimbal camera. It automatically keeps the lens really steady and still when you are moving a lot. So brisk walking, running, this is the camera 
that will capture that really unique perspective and I can't wait to see what some of you create with it. You've now seen three items that require charging in your kit. The iPad, the light, and the gimbal camera. The 10 port USB charger in your kit is gonna provide you lots of charging ports to keep your devices charged. So you'll just need to plan ahead as to which devices need charging so that you're good to go. There's lots to learn about filmmaking techniques and more information about how to use each of these parts on youtube.com forward slash stem T4L. So head there to find more video tutorials to help you using these parts. You can also go to the student filmmaker course on the stem T4L learning library, where you can learn more about the craft of filmmaking. Come to the Facebook group or the Yama community to speak to colleagues around New South Wales to see how they are using the STEM T4L filming kit.